Good morning, and welcome to Grace Episcopal Church in Traverse City, Michigan. Normally, we bring you services uh, live streamed at 5 p.m. on Saturday and 10 a.m. on Sunday, but it has been our tradition the past few years to do one 10 a.m. service that is a lessons and carol service on the weekend after Christmas, and that is what we are doing. So whenever you are watching it, imagine that it's 10 a.m. on Sunday, and this lessons and carol service is very, very special. It is brought not only to you by Grace Episcopal Church, but by the whole diocese of Eastern and Western Michigan who have uh, submitted choral pieces and readings from churches all over. And secondly, uh, it is, I believe, yep, the final week um, of our stewardship campaign for 2020, which ends at the stroke of New Year's Eve, not that we won't happily accept any pledges after that date. Um, we have had parishioners who have come to tell their stories and to encourage you to join us in supporting financially this community of faith, and this weekend is no different. And so I would like to present to you now our senior warden, Barb Dancer. Hi, I'm Barb Dancer. In January, I will complete my term on vestry with the last two years being your senior warden. As I reflect back on my tenure, I can't help but smile and shake my head a bit at what a journey we have been on together. For the visioning, from the visioning work we did as a church community through the new rector discernment process, we've been through a lot. And then we said goodbye to Catherine and welcomed Jim and his family to join in our Grace community. Who would have foreseen all of the challenges that 2020 has brought us? Luckily, we had just welcomed Jim. Before any of the official shutdown, he anticipated the direction that things were heading and jumped right in. Within two days, we had all of the equipment, programs, and people needed to live stream. Since then, Jim has worked closely with the vestry and various ministries to continue to look for ways to innovate. As you know, Grace was one of the first congregations to be online. Adding comfort and courage and then prayers for peace and justice, we extended our reach. As the weather improved, we added church in the park. Wasn't that fun? And now so many of you are engaged in new ways, recording musical performances, acting, doing readings and responses, going on camera, and literally inviting people virtually into your home. Our amazing Christmas services are a testament to your flexibility and the ability of our Grace community to adapt to the challenges that we face. While online community building is critical, we haven't lost focus on the old school methods. Many of you have been making calls, sending notes, reaching out, and just being there for others. Our community meals continue, our food pantry is thriving, open for curbside pickup, and much of this is being accomplished by a high portion of new volunteers. For all of this, I want to thank you. I am so proud you have answered the challenges of 2020 and we continue to be God's grace in action within our church and among our community. Our stewardship campaign isn't really a once a year process. It continues throughout the year in everything that we do. I am proud to have watched as you have given freely and really leaned in, sharing the gifts of your time, talent, and treasures. Others have spoken to you over the past few weeks in regards to stewardship and what it means to them. For me, in this crazy year that 2020 has become, I think the meaning is a little different. It's not about coming to church, although I'm sure you're with me, that we would love to be able to gather in person again, and we will, once it's safe. But in 2020, and for the foreseeable future, it's a commitment to show up in new ways, online, in study groups, in personal phone calls, in reading and contributing to our community. Stewardship this year is not just about volunteering to support our ministries in the normal ways. It's about being willing to volunteer in new ways that might not be as comfortable. I can tell you, I didn't want to have to make a video to be able to do this, but I did, and you are doing the same kinds of things. And finally, stewardship is not just about giving money. It's about your pledge to support both the church and our mission. We need your pledges to support our budget and provide stability into 2021. Please consider pledging whatever amount you can comfortably give, and if the Spirit moves you, just a little bit more. 
2020 is a year to stretch into 2021 and the better days that are coming. Whatever you can give matters, and we thank you for your pledge. Thanks to you and your support, we continue to take care of the business end of the church. We have updated our IT infrastructure to modernize and reduce our costs. We are tending to our buildings and grounds to be good stewards of the gifts that we have been given. We have looked for support in many ways. We applied for and received the PPP funding as well as a Whittemore Foundation grant. Like I said at the beginning, what a journey we've been on together. And I'm convinced that overall, our energy level is up, people are optimistic, and we are confident that we will continue to thrive and grow into whatever is next. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for being God's grace in action within our church and among our community. Thank you, Barb, for your message and for your leadership. And for your leadership these past few years, you might not know this, but Barb's tenure as our senior warden is coming to an end. And I just want to personally thank you, Barb, for the leadership and the vision and the resolve and the commitment and the spirituality that you have brought to our community. Everyone else, thank you also for being here. And I hope you enjoy our service of lessons and carols. Beloved in Christ, in this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger.
Let us read and mark in Holy Scriptures the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. And let us make ourselves glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for the mission and unity within the church he came to build. And let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all who know not the loving kindness of God. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no human can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, Our Father who art who in art heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, 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 earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, 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 and forgive and us our trespasses. Our trespasses. As we as forgive those who trespass against us. Against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Almighty God blesses us with this grace. Christ gives us the joy of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. How still we see thee lie Above thy deep and dreamless sleep The silent stars go by Yet in thy dark streets shineth The everlasting light The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth. The praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in the world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O child, O child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast our sins and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, their great glad tidings fell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, O Lord Emmanuel.
man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I have commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which about which I have commanded you, you shall not eat of it. I curse, cursed is the ground because of you, and toll you shall eat all of the days of your life, thorns and thistles, it shall bring you forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall bring you shall eat bread until you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, your dust and to dust you shall return. soul has seen laden with fruit and always green the trees of nature fruitless be compared with Christ the apple tree his beauty doth all things excel by faith I know, but ne'er can tell the glory which I now can see in Jesus Christ, the apple tree. For happiness I long have sought, and pleasures dearly I have bought. I missed of all, but now I see, tis found in Christ the apple tree. I'm weary of my former toil, here I will sit, and rest a while under the shadow I will be of Jesus Christ, the apple tree. This fruit doth make my soul to thrive, it keeps my dying faith alive, which makes my soul in haste to be with Jesus Christ, the apple tree. The tree of life my soul has seen, laden with fruit, and always green the trees of nature fruitless be, compared with Christ the apple tree.
The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said by myself, I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and, will, and have not withheld your son, your only son. I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the same as the same that is on the seashore and your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves because you have obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness, from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness he shall judge the poor, and he sat with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the cow and the lion and the vaulting together. And a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the ass, and the lean child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, and as the waters cover the sea. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee, 
called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for those you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will become the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give, you, will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will not will no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will, become, he will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. 
While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and, he, and laid him in, in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Ready? Okay. Away in a manger, no crib for the bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the night sky looked down. Cerca de Belén, había unos pastores que pasaban la noche en el campo cuidando sus ovejas. De pronto se les apareció un ángel del Señor, y la gloria del Señor brilló alrededor de ellos, y tuvieron mucho miedo. Pero el ángel les dijo, No tengan miedo, porque les traigo una buena noticia, que será motivo de gran alegría para todos. Hoy les ha nacido en el pueblo de David un Salvador, que es el Macías, el Señor. Como señal encontraron ustedes al niño envuelto en pañales y acostado en un establo. En aquel momento aparecieron junto al ángel muchos otros ángeles del cielo que alababan a Dios y decían, Gloria a Dios en las alturas. Paz en la tierra entre los hombres que gozan de su favor. Cuando los ángeles se volvieron al cielo, los pastores comenzaron a decirse unos a otros, Vamos pues, a Belén, a ver esto que ha sucedido y que el Señor nos ha anunciado. Fueron de prisa y encontraron a María y a José y al niño acostado en el establo.
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, so that I may go and also pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their home country by another road. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. 
There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. pray. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. May he who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly grant unto thee the fullness of inward peace and goodwill and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.